Hey guys, we're going to take a look at some more newer mods that were released for Forge and Fabric on the latest version of Minecraft. There's quite a few to cover in this video, with a lot of Halloween themed mods being released due to Spooky Jam. We'll start by looking at Forge mods, then go to Fabric, and you can find the links to any of these in the description below. Camp chairs are new furniture items which can be crafted using wood, with there being eight different styles, one for each type of wood. When you place them down, you can actually sit on them, and if you place them near a campfire, your health will slowly regenerate. You can further decorate camp chairs by placing carpet on them, which will reset your resting timer, preventing phantoms from spawning. Spooky Scary Bat Jockeys adds a hostile creature, which is a larger version of the bat. Like a phantom, it will swoop down and attack you, except it also has a skeleton riding it, with a small chance of a wither skeleton to spawn instead. Observed adds the Observer, another creature who likes to stay back and watch from a distance. As it does so, it can hit you with negative effects, with more gained the closer the Observer is. You can kill them, but doing so with a sword isn't advised, as they'll leave behind a circle of poison. If you do kill them, then you'll receive their eye, which can be eaten or turned into an eye of ender. The escape rope is an item which can be crafted from eight string and a feather. If you're below ground, like inside a cave, you can right click while holding the rope to quickly teleport to the surface. Trick or Treat adds lots of themed candies into Minecraft, which you can get after killing specific mobs. You can get Fizzlers, Dead Fish, Scream Bursts, Sour Patch Zombies, and more. When you eat them, they'll give you some different effects, like how Fire Fingers will set fire to hit enemies, Slime Gum causes the player to become bouncy, or Fizzlers causes an explosion and sends the player into the air. This mod introduced magic wands, with there being six different tiers, ranging from wood to netherite. Like bows, they fire projectiles, which can be done by holding down the right mouse button. They can receive some vanilla enchantments, but the mod includes some new enchantments too, which can be applied to the wands or armor to make them more accurate or increase the projectile speed. Just Enough Effect Descriptions allows you to click active effects in your inventory. If you have just enough items installed, then a window pops up giving you a description of what the effect does as well as a list of items which give it. You can also search for effects in the Just Enough Items search bar. YDM's Weird Mobs will add 9 new creatures to your game, which includes the Blaze Wolf, Ender Creeper, Spider Llama, Vex Piglin, and a few others. They're going to add a layer of difficulty to your playthrough as a few of them have special abilities, like how the Spider Llama can shoot poison or how the Ender Creeper is really fast. The biggest of them all is the Warden Dragon, who you might find in a swamp. TNT Stick Vanilla Plus adds some new explosive-related items. There's explosive arrows, which explode after a short time, or TNT Sticks, which is essentially throwable TNT, but on a smaller scale. Explosive potions are throwables too, and deal more damage, and the final item is the Incendiary Potion, which sets an area on fire. Drink Beer is now available for both loaders and allows you to brew your own beer inside of a keg, which can be crafted with a barrel and an iron ingot. By combining different ingredients inside the keg, you can make your own stouts, ales, and more. Drinking them gives different effects, like how the Blaze Stout gives fire resistance or the Minor Pale Ale gives haste. You can also just place the mugs down for decoration if you want to build your own tavern. Bad to the Bone is all about passing time and adds new challenges to Minecraft which are themed around getting older. Taking higher falls can result in you injuring your knee and being able to move properly. Your vision might deteriorate and you'll need to wear glasses to fix it. Or you can even get arthritis so that you won't be able to hold your tools anymore. Goblin Traders is now available for both mod loaders, with an unofficial port recently being released. There are two goblins, and they can be found in the Overworld and Nether, with each one having their own unique trades. They aren't solely limited to using emeralds as a currency either, as they often sell some useful items. Victus adds some new mechanics to hearts, which now give abilities. When you throw a splash potion of the Bleeding Heart onto a hostile mob and kill it, you receive a blank heart aspect. 
You can then combine these with different materials to create up to 18 different aspects. Each aspect gives a different effect, and you should consume it for it to become active, as it will take up the position of one heart. Once your health drops below the heart of an aspect, it will be activated. As an example, if you have the light aspect active, which blocks fall damage on your final heart, then you won't die from falling. There's lots of interesting aspects, like ones which can summon iron golems, heal you, or fire arrows at enemies. Explorer's Delight adds a few new items with the first being the Recall Potion, which can be brewed using an Ender Pearl. When consumed, it will teleport you back to your spawn point. If you craft the Illumination Necklace, it will occasionally place down glowing orbs in dark areas, which could be great for making sure you don't get lost during the night. The assortment pouch can be crafted from leather, scoot, and diamonds, and acts as a backpack, except it has stack sizes of one. The infusion table is a new block which can be crafted from amethyst shards, polished deep slate, and crying obsidian. Place the infusion table down, add an empty book to it, and then place the enchanted item, like a weapon or armor piece. When you light the table with a flint and steel, your item will be consumed, but you'll be able to retrieve the enchantment that was on it in the form of a book. Faster Minecarts 2 will make traveling around your world in minecarts more viable. To start, their speeds are increased from 8 blocks per second to 30, which is a huge increase. You don't have to worry about derailing as there is an automatic speed adjustment for corners, but you can also use the acceleration or deceleration rails to manually control your speed. The Art of Alchemy is a mod which allows you to break down items so they can be transmuted into more useful stuff. By placing items in a calcination furnace, you can break them down into new items called Materia, which has different ranks. If you place items in the Dissolution Chamber, they'll be stripped down, leaving you with something called Essentia. By taking these two new materials and placing them inside the Synthesis Table, you can essentially clone items if you have enough substances. That's the quick explanation of this mod, but there's a lot more to it, with lots to learn. Lightest lamps add some new light sources which are much brighter than lamps included in vanilla Minecraft. The brightest is the Omega Lamp, which can light up to a 30 block wide area, making it great for lighting up a village or home base. There's also versions of sea lanterns, so you can light up underwater areas. Size Matters adds three new consumable items which can either be used on yourself or other mobs in your world. There's one which will enlarge an entity one which will make them smaller, and one which rotates them. None of these items are too expensive to craft either. Chalk is very useful for when you're mining below the surface. It adds two new items which can be crafted, and these are chalk and glow chalk. When you right-click a block while holding it, you can draw arrows for each direction, or an X in the center, meaning you'll never get lost again. That's all the mods we've got to cover this time around. I'll be back soon with more new mods, but until then, feel free to check out my channel where we've covered thousands of mods so far, as well as lots of resource packs.